Hello, this is Yukari's Gear Reviews, and today we are comparing several IFAC pouches, or individual first aid kits. The purpose of an IFAC pouch is to provide a rigid and enclosed container to carry emergency medical supplies on the individual, ideally compatible with Molly or Alice type load bearing solutions. We have offerings from several companies, including the Coyote Tactical Generation 2 Stomp, the LTC First Responder, the IDO Gear EMT pouch, the LBT Medical Utility Pouch, and the Tier Tactical SOF IFAC pouch. We will be examining these pouches from the least expensive to the most. The first pouch in the lineup is the IDO Gear Tactical EMT pouch. It is the cheapest option in the running, as it is the only aid kit we'll be looking at that is manufactured in China. On the outside, this pouch features two rows of nylon webbing on the front and on each side, a carry handle, a velcro space for morale or medical patches, and uses zippers to open and close the pouch as it lacks a blowout or tearaway feature as seen on more expensive pouches. The inside of the IDO pouch is surprisingly well organized and has quite good storage. At one end there is a zippered pouch sufficient in size to hold some medium sized items like 3x5 C-Locks bandages and smaller gauze pads. On the other end one will find a larger mesh storage area. This pocket can hold more lengthy items like compact chest seals, artificial airways, and decompression or ARS needles. The inner straps are fairly well thought out as well and offer a considerable amount of space. The main compartment straps are able to support 4 inch emergency trauma bandages or comparable elastic variants as well as gloves, extra lubricant, and bandage tape under the smaller straps. The major downsides of the IDO pouch come from its imported nature. The stitching is not of the highest quality, the nylon webbing can be inconsistent, and the cloth around the zippers can be torn away under stress. I have no doubt that this pouch would hold together in a low intensity application, but I'm hesitant to risk anything serious. The Tier SOF IFAC pouch is in an interesting place on our list. It is a relatively inexpensive, American-made, and feature-heavy option, considering its price. Not only is it quite capable of carrying a standard amount of supplies such as bandages, chest seals, and pressure applicators, it is unique in that it has flap storage for not one, but two tourniquets, which can be stored in the quick launch or factory configuration. The outside is relatively plain, but there is a tearaway velcro flap, which, when used, completely opens the pouch quickly. Moving to the interior, one will find the bottom half features several small straps for item storage and is useful for holding gloves and extra tape. Most of the major storage, however, is at the opposite end, which has one large strap and a compartment for flatter items. In this example, we packed a pair of quick clots, an Israeli bandage, and an ARS pen under the large strap, and chest seals, compressed gauze, and an NPA tube in the compartment. The major downsides of the SOF IFAC are its notable bulk on the interior and the exterior. For the interior, the fact that all major items are placed on one side of the pouch can lead to bulging, particularly when elastic bandages are added. And for the exterior, the addition of tourniquets to the front slots can even further increase the amount of material hanging off a belt, plate carrier, or IFAC. It is still manageable, but this is about as far away as one can move from a micro-sized IFAC. Now it is time to take a look at the LBT Medical Utility Pouch. This pouch is quite plain compared to many others on the list, and features a simple zipper system for opening. Although the lack of a velcro space in the front is disappointing, it offers the user a chance to mark the pouch with permanent marker or some other way. In addition, the lack of external storage makes this pouch somewhat slimmer than the rest. The inside of the Medical Utility is nothing special. On the back portion of the interior, there are two large straps, under which one can tuck a number of larger medical items, like chest seals and compressed gauze. On the opposite end, there are three rows of smaller straps, possibly for tape and other bulky yet small items, and a compartment ideal for flat but lengthy items like NPA tubes. These smaller straps are actually double layered, further increasing the amount of storage one can get. While the LBT is doubtless a high quality pouch, with good quality stitching, it lacks several features one might come to expect from a pouch at such a price point, such as tearaway feature 
uh, tourniquet storage, and Velcro space for identifying patches. In short, this is a tried and true design with a disappointing lack of innovation or additional features. The Coyote Tactical Generation 2 Stomp or Slim Tear Off Medical Pouch is the priciest tactical style IFAC on our list and has a long list of features to go with this price tag. The stitching is some of the highest quality so far and the design of the webbing is actually aesthetically pleasing. On the bottom, there are a pair of loops to secure a tourniquet. At the middle, there's a buckle for additional retention and to prevent accidental use of the tearaway feature. At the top, you find a small space for a medical patch, which can be bought with the stomp, and as part of the flap design, we find a section of Velcro which can be used to tear away the pouch from the belt or plate carrier and carry it in one's hands. Finally, vertical and horizontal PALS webbing on the back enables the pouch to be carried any way the user pleases. The inside of the stomp is very well organized. On the inside of the flap, we find two large straps which are reinforced every inch and are ideal for the storage of bandages of any size and compact sized chest seals. In the middle of the pouch, there are two very small straps, which can be used for the storage of rolled gloves or extra lubricant. At the very top, we find two horizontal and two vertical straps, which permit the storage of very bulky items like bandage tape and trauma dressings, as well as sufficient room for decompression pens. It was admittedly rather difficult to think of downsides for the stomp pouch. It is one of the priciest carriers in the lineup at over $70 shipped. The exposed tourniquet can be a sticking point for some, and the room afforded by the pouch can lead to a situation where it is so bulky it becomes difficult to close the retention buckle. Next up is the LTC First Responder. This IFAC pouch is a little different from most tactical IFACs, as it is intended to be a lower profile option, potentially mounted on a backpack or carried on a dress belt. The pouch actually rides inside of a protective sleeve and is retained with buckles. The sleeve also has a large vertical velcro strip and optional loops at the bottom for mounting the tourniquet. The pouch itself has room for a morale patch on the outside, which is visible when the buckles are closed. When the buckles are released and the pouch is removed from the sleeve, items are retained with two straps. Because there are no secondary compartments, all items must be tucked underneath these straps for full retention. This works surprisingly well. One can litter the space with two or more flat bandages compact chest seals, unpacked gloves, an NPA tube, and even 5.5 inch trauma shears. There is an additional upside to the design. Because the pouch can be removed from the carrier, it is possible to remove it from the belt or pack and carry it in one's hands or set it aside in a desirable location, which is unique in an IFAC, and it is a desirable feature and item one might use in a less tactical environment. The downsides of the LTC come from its design choices. The two strap retention method for the pouch is the primary concern. Although they retain items well, problems can arise when one quickly needs to reinsert items or when items are packed loosely and thus do not take full advantage of the strap retention. There is also the possibility of accidentally grabbing more than one item under stress. And finally, the pouch can be slow to return to the inside of the carrier due to the buckle retention design, which can be a detriment in a situation where speed is of the essence. That will be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this IFAC pouch review. If you have any suggestions or comments, please feel free to reach out. I will most likely be doing another video on a different style of IFAC pouches very soon. Yukari out.